What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Jen Blue Eyes, here. And, excuse the way I look, I actually just woke up not too long ago. I did put on eyeliner, because you guys are not ready to see me without my makeup on yet, since this is only the second day. One of these days, I will show you without my makeup on, and... <laughs> that'll be funny. <laughs> anyway, so I thought I would just... Um, in this video talk about a few things that just really grind my gears. I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry I said that. These are some of my pet peeves, some things that just really irritate me, which really shouldn't. Um, okay, so the first thing is when people, and by people, I mean my mom, who's up sleep, up sleep? No, upstairs asleep, so if I'm talking softer than I did yesterday, then that's the reason why. Um, so when people put e empty, like they use an egg and they put the empty eggshells back into the container. Like if you turn around, there's a trash can, literally right there, two feet behind you. There is a trash can. So you just take the eggshells, they're in the trash can, but no, 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 no. Put them back in the egg, the egg carton, why don't you? I hate that. I seriously, seriously, seriously hate that. I can't stand that. So then I'm the one having to put them in the trash can. Really annoys me. So another thing is like if something is not balanced, like eggs, gum, whatever, candy or something, if it's in a container and there's uneven, like say there's three eggs in the carton, they can't be balanced. I have to take an egg out and use it. It just, it annoys me. And I'm always rearranging them. Like my mom, she'll put four eggs on one side of the carton. I'm always having to rearrange it so that it's even. I don't know. Maybe it's just my OCD. I don't know. Another thing about my OCD. Um, if like somebody's eyeliner is uneven or if a shirt collar is uneven or something, I will be, they'll be talking to me. But I would just be mentally fixing whatever is, like, wrong in my head. Like, I don't care, like, how you look or, like, if what you're wearing matches or something like that. But if it's uneven, like, if your one wing of your eyeliner is longer than the other. Or if, like, one shirt collar is over here and the other one's up here. It's just, like, I will be mentally fixing this stuff in my head while you're talking. I don't care. I don't hear a word you're saying but I'm trying to fix it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So if you're going to come and talk to me, please make sure your eyeliner or whatever is right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, okay, so another thing that bugs me is when people complain about or mention my height. I'm only like five foot, I think. Yeah, like five foot tall or short, rather, and people, like, my, especially my brother, he'll be insisting that I'm only, like, 4'10", or 4'8", when I'm not, and, like, they'll just really, they, like, people will pat me on the head, and by people, and mostly me and my brother, and then he'll say that his wife is 5'1", and I must be, like, 10 inches tall or uh, shorter than her, he's, like, always getting on my case about it, and it's just, like, when people do that I mean I, I know I'm short I, I get that and I'm fine with that but it's like when you make that out to be something that's bad it just annoys me even if you're just joking because I know a lot of people are just joking when they do it but still it's yeah I don't like it but actually I think that's all that annoys me really I don't have that I'm a very patient person I don't let a lot of things bug me but those three things bug me <laughs> or four things right? yeah, four things did I say three or four I don't even remember but those that really bugs me but I try not to let things get to me because it's just like it doesn't really matter like my mom or my siblings or some of my friends they just get really frustrated about something and I'm like what's the point I mean 
there's nothing you can do about it. And if there is, then do something about it and just stop letting it irritate you and bug you. Because, I mean, how is that helping? It's not. So, here's a little word of advice. I mean, if something is irritating you or bugging you, which you have no control over, get over it. I mean, it's easier said than done, I know, but work on that, because that is just going to really tear you down. Um, it's just going to control your life, and that's not something you want. No, you just got to learn to go with the flow and just relax. I am a very relaxed person, and honestly, I have people getting mad at me for that. They're like, well, this is terrible. Why won't you get upset? It's like, because there's no control over it. Why would I get upset over something that Donald Trump is doing? I mean, okay, I might not agree with it, but I mean, if I just sit there and talk about it and complain about it, I mean, that's just going to ruin my day. Why would I, why would I want to do that? It's not something I want to do, so... Sorry if I'm ranting. Am I ranting? I don't even know. But yeah, just keep that in mind. It's just, if you don't have any control over it, just try not to let it get under your skin, because it's really not helpful. But that's all I have for today. Today, 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 today. That's all I have for today's video. Um, I'm going to be doing a question and answers video maybe next week, unless I don't have enough questions by then, then it will be the week after. So just shoot me over any questions you have, I will try and answer them all. Um, so, yeah. Okay, I will talk to you guys all later, have a wonderful and spectacular day, and I'll talk to you guys later, which I already said that, so bye-bye!